This was a terrible idea. Package. We've lost half the puzzle down the back of the bookcase. <laughs> I cannot tell whether there will be a missing piece in this puzzle till I've built it. We have been at this, at a guess, for about 15 hours. <laughs> Do you think I would let you place the last fucking piece? Because we are a craft adjacent YouTube channel. <laughs> craft adjacent. We are by law required to do a resin table. Okay, so we're about ready to start gluing the puzzle to the table. According to everything that I've read, all the thousands of tutorials. The first step has got to be gluing the puzzle to the table to make sure that it doesn't float and also so that we can seal it and make sure that none of the resin seeps into the into the pieces of the puzzle and discolours them. An ordinary PVA glue from my book binding days. More on that in episodes to come. So I'm just going to pop that down there underneath. And we're going to give this a nice liberal coat. Okay, the moment of truth. I am amazed that worked as well as it did. Oh. Yeah, you think it's impressive. You didn't actually slide the damn thing on. Wow. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was nearly three weeks of work all over the floor. So this should seal down all the edges and dry clear. Oh look, it's the supervisor. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here with my clipboard. <laughs> I'm seeing some health and safety violations. Health and safety, you. <laughs> oh no, the violations! <laughs> now remember, what's the safety word? It's not help. <laughs> we have blacked in the edges all the way around. But whatever is here will be here forevermore. Forevermore!
Didn't someone write a poem about that or something? We're going to resin the table. Now, as is traditional, neither of us has... This is a lie. I have worked with resin once. Uh -huh. When I made something that big. Wow. I'm looking forward to covering 25 hours worth of work and potentially not having any work afterwards. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be fantastic. Please don't <laughs> fail. We've built a barrier of tape around it. Several barriers, several layers of tape should be reasonably rigid. Yep. I calculated out that this should fill this table to a depth of three millimetres, which should be fine. Should be fine. So, <laughs> let's on with the resin, I suppose. On with the resin. On with the resin. This is the bit where we attempt to look professional. So you calculated this. And they said that this was the right stuff. And I can only hope that hours and hours of research led me to the right conclusion of the right stuff to be using for this application. We've watched the YouTube videos. We've seen how it's done. Now it is our turn. Do you think I should have read the instructions first? <laughs> Before you turn the bottle upside down. <laughs> nope. As it becomes better mixed, it should be less cloudy and streaky. There is <clears> one more thing I could do, which is to pour it from there into a different bucket and try and get rid of some of the bubbles, or we can just pour it. Double pour for the sex shots! <sighs> to get rid of bubbles but by the looks of it I, I think it's adding more <laughs> so I'm probably doing this wrong I'm sure someone in the comments will let us know how badly we're doing this so on with the paw on with the paw You know what we didn't do? Mm. We didn't level this table. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Okay. You know what? It's, it looks... Yeah, level slightly. Enough? I'm gonna go with level enough. I'm starting to have a sneaking suspicion that this might actually work. No. Optimism on this channel? <laughs> That's not what people are signing up for. <laughs> Definitely have done this beforehand. The resin must flow. Okay, that side is fine. That's 
side is fine. So what tipped me off about that is this corner just poking up. So I think I just need to do some redistribution of wealth. You are the one percent. Not the one percent of people mad enough to do this. <laughs> I was talking to the corner of the puzzle, but yes. <laughs> that is as level as it's going to be. Now there's just one more thing I need. Torch. Right, this is the fun bit. Fire time! Clearly, yeah, there's some bits where it hasn't sealed quite properly. You can see down here. But that is life. That's alive. I think that is it. Right. Well, that wasn't terrifying at all. <laughs> <laughs> but we're goths, we like fear. <laughs> 24 hours later, <laughs> we will see the final result. It's the next day. It's the next day! 24 hours, which is as long as it takes to cure. We have not seen this. Uh, Shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Quite amazingly, um, it's solid. I just want to make make it make you very aware. This is your fault. My fault? Your fault. I, I failed to see how this was my fault. <laughs> Silly idea was this. Mine! <laughs> In its final form, it is actually really, really nice. Yeah. It has a few rough edges, like us. But you know what? It worked. Yeah. I honestly am surprised at how well it worked, given that there were, you know, many holes for the resin to go down and things like that, but aside from the odd patch here and there, it looks great. We have a functioning table. It's a table that will be used, it, it's in daily use with, with cups and coffee and feet and, and everything else on it. Yeah. So remarkably successful. Yeah, completely reconditioned the tabletop. We had lots of little dings and scratches and it, it wasn't looking its best. And now it's all covered. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. Yep. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like what we do, remember to hit like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And we'll keep on bringing you more interminable projects. Terrible, terrible projects. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Drowning in Scissors. Bye!